Hey, welcome back everybody. Easy. And yes, it's true. The 23 war streak is over. They finally met a clan that was equal. That happened to wipe the entire clan. <laughs> so, look at these wins, man. What a great record. If you look at their two losses here, they were both ties. Up into this last war. They lost by two because the other clan three-starred the entire clan and they three-starred all but two of them. And they had some great attempts at those last two bases too. I mean, some great attempts at it. So this was almost another almost another tie win or tie loss, uh, but they ended up losing by two. Um, this first attack is by Legendary Saab. It's a Laloon. And this is a Laloon on a Town Hall 11. If, for those of you that are in Town Hall 10 or 11 that are using Laloon, it's, these are not easy attacks. These are really hard attacks to, to coordinate. Um, this, this Town Hall 11 doesn't have the Eagle Artillery. Both sides were pretty heavily um, engineered. And uh, for those of you who are keeping track of the engineered uh, issue, it's a, it's a big topic right now. Um, what I've seen is that most every clan that these guys are trying to fight are engineered just like they are so Supercell is doing a pretty good job on the matchups um, they don't get many mismatches they don't get many clans that they have a huge advantage over they're just better than most of them uh, they have some great attackers these guys are constantly doing friendly battles inside inside their own clan and I mean constantly um, they have some great processes um, as far as who they select for war so uh, you know, personally, I've been playing for a couple of years, and I've learned a lot just in a few days. So it's always good to get out there and and check out check out other clans. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a couple of accounts in this clan, thanks to my kids, who played for a few days and quit, and I kept on going. <laughs> so uh, because you know you're not really supposed to have more than one account, but. Anyone who has kids, they usually last a few days before they realize, oh man, I gotta work at this, and they they give up, and then you can take over, and then that's kind of that, then you kind of fall in that clause where it's okay. But anyway, great attack by Saab. Next attack is uh, gonna be a, it, the, the next attack's uh, uh, Goho, I believe it's by Pickpocket. If I can remember. See, I'm having to remember back, and it's pretty amazing I can actually do it. So, just to recap a little bit in the last few days that I've been in the clan, what I've seen these guys do, because what I wanted to do is kind of report on how they, how they won so many matches. And what I found is there's no magic way to do this. There's no trick to it. They have been real smart in the way they upgrade their bases. They're very conscious on, on the defense that they upgrade. They're very conscious about who they let into the war. They don't let anyone in the... For example, they have this rule that if you're a max 9, you have to have level 20 heroes. Um, that's, that's kind of the standard. If you have a max 10, I think it's level 30 heroes. So if you have a max base on defense, you have to have the heroes to back it up. That's kind of the gauge that a lot of clans will go by as far as how strong you are and then they're gonna watch your attacks and if you can't put out some good attacks uh, they're not looking for three stars necessarily they're looking for good tactics because some of their bases are really hard to beat um, I know that I kept putting mine up which is too easy and they they easily three started over and over uh, but I have never really been in the environment that they're gonna go that they're gonna lull in every single attack I'm still working on another base right now so it just goes to show you I've been building bases for, for a long time I've built hundreds of them and they dismantled these bases like it was nothing and yet their bases were really hard to beat because they were all geared towards the Laloon and they you know all, all of their defenses pulled you in all these different directions so they were real smart built bases um, they don't have a dictatorship in the clan where one guy tells everyone else what to do so it was a, it was a fun environment and it was just a, a, a overall a really good experience. So uh, hats off to these guys. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, not you know it's not home like damage, but um, as far as uh, home away from home, I couldn't have been happier. 
a great group of guys. Uh, I'm hoping to do some uh, some work with them in the future, as far as uh, friendly wars, because they have some really talented attackers that can match up to our guys pretty good. So I'm really hoping that I can continue uh, working with these guys. M you know, I don't know exactly how, but we're gonna work on it. I know there's a lot of clans out there that have been around longer than we have. And they have feeder clans, and they do these arranged wars, and they do all kinds of stuff that we, we want the same for our guys. We want the, we want to enjoy all the different aspects of the game. This game it gets really deep as far as the different possibilities that it has. It's one of the cool things about the game is that you you can go out and play by yourself. You can get in a clan and play with a clan. You can go into clan wars, and then you can get into a little deeper side of it, and you can start doing arranged wars, and you can start uh, building feeder clans and. There's all kinds of cool things you can do, so I was happy to meet another clan of uh, like-minded people. They were really focused on, on how to win. They had found a great system, and uh, I had a real bad, uh, I really disliked the engineered idea, and these guys didn't have any crazy engineered bases. Uh, you know, they didn't have any Town Hall 6 defenses with Town Hall 11 troops. They didn't do anything like that. Matter of fact, as far as lopsided bases, most of them were pretty strong. Uh, most of them were either max 9 or 9.5s. If they got up to Town Hall 11, they never really went more than a town and a half, a town and a hall, or a town hall and a half ahead. So, you know, I, our guys usually stay in the point five, and I suggest to most clans out there. Uh, to try to stay in that point five area because Supercell is trying to put an put an end to the to the engineered you know the engineered bases the engineer clans and if you stay as a point five which that which that just means that when you upgrade to the next town hall level you're going to upgrade your your offense first and it's just a smart way to to do an upgrade because if you upgrade your defenses first you're going to face harder harder deep you know you're going to face harder cl clans you're going to face harder opponents. And you're just not going to be ready for it yet. So when you go to the new town hall level, get your offensive, get your troops going, and get your, all your offensive buildings going before you start your defenses. And definitely hold off on those big defenses in town hall 9, 10, and 11. Because that what that does is that's part of the, uh, the matchmaking algorithm is looking at these elite uh, defenses. So if you put the Inferno Towers out there immediately, you're going to see them across, the, uh, across from you in, in Clan Wars. I don't know about in 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 multi if you're gonna see them there. I, I'm not sure how it all works. This kind of, it's kind of the the, uh, a, the big secret that Supercell keeps. They've been really good at keeping it under wraps, and the people that they've let in on their on their uh, system are real loyal to them. So they're not gonna really tell anyone exactly how it all works, and that's part of the fun of it. Everyone's got their own theories and their own ideas. So, all right, that was a th that right there was another go ho. That was from uh, term. That was from the leader. Uh, say a few things. If you're going to be a leader of a clan, you should be uh, a humble a activist type leader. That's what Terminator was. Um, a deserving leader for such a good clan. So hats off to him or her. Could be her. I don't know. <laughs> and now this one, you know, notice how you can't see who this is on. Although, I kind of see it. <laughs> uh, you might not see it by the time the video gets out. <laughs> but uh, this is an attack on our clan here. Or on that the, on the clan. And I've seen this attack a lot. Matter of fact, we have Hawkeye in damage that does this attack. This is a strong Town Hall 11 attack. It's, uh, I guess it's called the Max Bowler attack. But it has uh, Max Bowlers. It has... 18 to 20 bowlers and then it has about eight Valkyries that come in and they'll usually either bring the Valkyries in on this delay to go straight towards the core and to, to try to take out the core or they'll put the Valkyries in on the heroes and to try to take out the heroes of the clan council troops if they have a bunch of ground based clan council troops they'll put the Valkyries on them so it's a it's primarily a bowler attack but they but they also have the Valkyries that are really good troop on troop um, you know they do they do really well against other troops so if they have a bunch of ground based clan castle troops and you have five or six valkyries or eight valkyries like like uh i believe they brought here uh you're really set well 
They also do a great job on cleanup because they run in between the buildings and they take out several buildings at one time. And he hasn't even put him in yet. And look at this, he's got got through quite a bit. And that's what he did. He put a delayed he a delay drop on the Valkyries. They go right into the core, puts the rage on them, and they're gonna they're, they're gonna wipe the core. I haven't seen this replay yet, but they'll wipe the core up pretty simply. They take out everything. They take out the Infernal Towers. They take out they take out Town Hall. Uh, you know this is a really well built uh, smart attack. Now the bowlers they have. Uh, now, for those of you that that haven't seen a lot of this yet, you're going to see a lot of it. If you're new to Town Hall 10, once you get to Town Hall 10, you're going to get attacked by Town Hall 11s. And you'll see the healers come in on top of the queen, and then they have the warden right behind them. And the way the warden is, is he'll follow, he, he's going to attack whatever the queen's attacking. So you basically have a queen plus attacking everything, and then you have the healers, and it's just overpowering, man. So, the streak is over, 23 wins, they handled it really gracefully, they, did, they didn't bat an eye at it, and now they're going to rewind and, and go for the next streak, and I think some of them might have been a little relieved, that they, now they're going to have a, a, a couple easier matchups, I don't know, I'm sure they all wanted to go to 25 or 30, but uh, you, no one was crying, they didn't uh, pitch a fit because they lost, so tons of respect for these guys. The third video we've made on them. Last one for a little while. Uh, getting ready to head back home with Too Easy. So, uh, had a real good experience. If you guys ever see these guys in Clan Wars, sorry, they're gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Alright, I appreciate everyone for watching till the end. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everyone.